Move on then. Uh, you know, the government has reiterated its dissent in the Hindustan Singh's proposed acquisition of Vedanta's global zinc assets. The government will be exploring legal options in this particular matter. To understand what's the way ahead and what's, what does the company have to say, well, we are joined by Mr. Arun Mishra, the CEO and the whole time director of the company. Hi, Mr. Mishra. Good morning. Thanks so much for joining in. Well, tell us, how do things shape up? The government is not on board as of now. Will, is this transaction off the table right now? And if you could tell us, will, will you look to push through this uh, proposal, maybe with majority of the board members? How does it shape up? Go ahead. I will, I will again reiterate my position. As far as Hindustan Zinc is concerned, we always believe in and operate in perfect manners of corporate governance. So no deviation on that point. Second, uh, any board decision on such related party transaction has to have approval of majority of minority shareholders. So that's something sacrosanct for all of us. And we have to get that in, in case that transaction has to happen. Third, as I have been always been insisting as a CEO of Hindustan Zinc, Hindustan Zinc needs to grow beyond the shores of India to serve the rest of the world, needs to acquire assets on other parts of the globe. Now, whether the current asset in consideration or any future asset that may come on its way. So these three points are there for all of us. Rest is all a procedure. So let's wait for that. We still have time. I know the shareholders have their own view. We are determined Mr. to Mishra, work with the uh, shareholders all the sure. way. Mr. Mishra, can you tell us what is the reason for the government opposing it? How do I comment on somebody else's view and shareholders' view or the reasons that they may have? But as okay. far as I am to your best understanding, your best, to... yes. You, you know, I'll tell you, Mr. 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 I just, sorry, just, just wanted to, just wanted to uh, question and uh, would, so you said majority of the minority has to approve it, right? Uh, can you, will the government be treated as a minority in this case? Government is always there in this related party transaction. They are a minority shareholder. And okay. as per law, they have a right to express their opinion. Okay. So then now, the, the, the government nominee on the board, Mr. Uh, Mr. Mishra, could you tell us when this, was, when this transaction was approved, uh, how did the government nominee vote? So normally all board decisions, as we file as a decision of the board, we don't file as individual uh, decisions or opinions of each board member. So I would leave no, it at my, that. My, the reason I'm asking that is, uh, I mean, if you now that if now this issue has come up in the, in the normal course, this is not a question which would have been put to you. But now that uh, this matter is shaping up like this, would you would you uh, be able to tell us what, what because you have a government nominee on the board? Uh, what what was their view when this matter came up? We we will continue to work, and and government has expressed their opinion, which is in public space. My job is to work with all stakeholders, including government and other minority shareholders as well. I will continue to work in that direction. Have you been told by the government uh, that uh, they are, I mean, because I mean, the, uh, this morning the news suggests that they will go to the court. Uh, uh, have, you, have you received intimation in this regard? I mean, they, will, they may take see, the yeah. legal route, yes. See, all matters of corporate work always have an, another legal option available to each shareholder. And that is mm. true for everyone, every one of us. So I will not get into that. I am I am saying that as a CEO, it is my job to convince the board on the strategy mm -hmm. that I have taken, suggestions that I make, and I will continue on that path. And as Gita says, continue doing your work, no, not be bothered okay. about the output. It will happen. Right. What will happen will happen. Will. You, you know, Mr. Mishra, the problem was also on valuations. Uh, you know, going or going by the numbers that were put out. Though you have big plans, and you would believe that it's still justifiable at the valuation that you all proposed it. If there's a tweak in the valuations, do you think this deal can still go through? It's all up for consideration and discussion between shareholders. So By when, how do sir, I comment sir, on that? You, you know, Mr. Mishra, a couple of factors. If government is treated as a minority party, then this transaction is off, right? Because they have 30% uh, of the company. You all we, have 65%. We, Vedanta has 65%. We, so so we in, have current, got, have got, in the current form, it's not going to go through. So I ask you, is there a plan got, B? We have got three months since the day of the board meeting for mm. convening shareholders meeting and getting it approved. Time is still left and my job mm. is to work through the process. I will work through it. Okay, so you're saying there is a three-month period that, uh, you, you know, is still underway. Got that. If this deal does not go through, then what happens uh, as we move along? Does HZL go 
you know, go on and start paying dividends once again. I mean, you know, the dividends were quite solid in the year gone by. Uh, so what is the plan if this deal does not go through from the government's end? I don't, I don't do so much of crystal gauging, you know, going forward if it does not happen, dividend and all that. It's for the right. board to decide and you will come to know whenever the decisions are taken. Uh, have you reached out to the, I mean, uh, what you're suggesting is that you will try and convince uh, everyone to get on board with this deal in the current form. So, uh, is our talks already on? Are you trying to do that? Of course, of course, of course. And, you know, government and Ministry of Mines is an important stakeholder in our business. They were 29 and half percent of shares. So, I'm always in touch with them for all matters of, of uh, strategic uh, importance to the company. Mr. Uh, Mr. you know, uh, our reporter, when we filed the story uh, sometime back, uh, it, uh, the indication was that before you put up, put this out in the public domain that you know this is what the uh, what you intend to do uh, the government had already expressed its uh, sort of you know opposition or uh, concerns with the deal is that correct see uh, we are all very optimistic mm -hmm. and uh, let's uh, we can't really predict what is the end of the road for any, any no, no, i'm not i'm just and asking you to explain what has already transpired not crystal gaze so, did that happen? Did they? Did you get a view from them saying that they were they had uh, concerns about the deal? No, government is consistent on the view that they have expressed in public and what they expressed to me. Either there's no inconsistency in their view. No, no I'm not suggesting uh, that there is inconsistency. I'm just asking you: Did they express a, express a view that uh, they they had a you know they were not particularly keen on the deal? I said, as I said, that there is no inconsistency in their view, and I take it that, and that is the basis on which I work. So they are not on board as as we understand it as of now. But Mr. Mishra, the other point is you have mentioned repeatedly that the government of India has 29.5% stake in the company. And, uh, you know, they were waiting by for some kind of divestment. Have you heard anything on that front? Are we likely to see oh, an absolutely. OFS soon? No, absolutely. I worked extensively with government of India and I was part of the roadshows. And I'm still in touch, you know, how to get this divestment thing so, going. And I'm, I'm yeah. sure it should happen soon. So, is it likely to happen in FI23, since the roadshows have, uh, you know, you've gone out there and it'll be I'm, an OFS? I'm, I'm very, yeah, it will be an OFS. It cannot be anything other than OFS. And I'm very, very hopeful that before March, we should have this uh, in the best interest of everyone. And Vedanta will participate in that 5% OFS, right? No, no. The, the, the OFS route is very clear that there are laws mm -hmm. how much Vedanta can take as owner and also, there is a creeping acquisition related act in which you cannot buy more than 5% in, in, a, in, a, in a financial year. So, let, let the OFS be out. We would know how much percentage is being put out in the market. That would determine who can participate how much. Okay. All right. We will leave it at that. Thanks a lot for joining in and uh, giving us a lot more clarity on what's happening. That's a CNBC TV 18 exclusive. Hindustan Zing saying that any transaction has to have an approval of both the majority and the minority shareholders. We will work with all stakeholders, including the government and all other minority shareholders. Uh, they're looking to convince the board on the way forward and three months time is what they're giving themselves. So we'll slip into a quick break on that note. On the other side, there's a big acquisition that uh, Samuel or someone than Madison has made. Uh, so we'll talk about that with the management in just a bit. Stay tuned.